Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So it's me, Shabri. I'm coming to you guys today with a what I eat in a day while I'm keto video. I'm starting out by prepping breakfast for my husband. Many of you all know that I do intermittent fasting, so I don't break my fast as early in the day. Since Hakeem has started doing keto with me, he'll normally break his fast a little earlier than what I will. So I like to start by making him a quick keto breakfast. I'll start by cracking two eggs in a bowl to season with both pink Himalayan salt as well as some ground black pepper. I'll also add some cheese into the eggs to mix up and set aside to scramble a little later once the rest of the food is almost finished cooking. Next onto the sausage, I'm using Polska Kielbasa sausage. This sausage is high in fat and not too high in carb count. I like to cook this on the George Foreman grill, that way I can step away and do anything else that needs my attention around the house. I do like to flip the sausage while cooking, that way they won't burn on either side um, while they are on the George Foreman. Once the sausage is almost finished, I'll go ahead to melt some Kerrygold butter in the pan to scramble the eggs. This butter adds more fat to the keto meal, which again is really ideal while on keto. You want to make sure you're getting in as much fat as possible. Once the eggs have finished cooking, I'll go ahead to plate them along with the sausage. This makes for a really quick and simple and very filling keto breakfast meal. It comes in at over 59 grams of fat and less than 7 grams of carbs. Now on to lunch. This is actually going to be my first meal of the day. I'm ordering a pizza from Blaze Pizza. They actually came out with a new keto crust that's only 6 grams net carbs. I talked about this pizza a few weeks ago on Instagram, so if you're not following me there, be sure to follow me. On my keto pizza, I like to do red sauce, light sauce of course. For cheese, I'll add mozzarella as well as parmesan cheese. For the toppings, I like to do bacon, sausage, as well as pepperoni. They actually have quite a few toppings from you to select from. You can select your choice of meat, then your choice of vegetable, and add any finishing touches to it if you'd like. I like to leave my pizza with just the bacon, the sausage, and the pepperoni. I skip over vegetables on the pizza, but spinach is a really good option to add if you want. Now, I don't add any finishing touches, as I said before. My pizza today came up to be about $18 with delivery. It's a little bit on the expensive side, so I would suggest to pick it up in store. It should be about $12, so that's not too bad. Um, it's definitely a good option when you're having a pizza craving while on keto. For our last meal of the day, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm making some air fried Italian chicken drumettes. I'm going to pair a side salad with the chicken, a bacon Caesar salad. This is my first time actually using the air fryer, so I played around a little bit with the temperature setting and the time that I cooked the chicken. I set it at first at 360 degrees for 22 minutes. I'm the type of person that does not like to eat undercooked food, so I did go back to cook the chicken for longer than 22 minutes. But while the chicken was cooking, I decided to prepare the side salad. Um, I like to use this Caesar salad kit by Fresh Express. It's really simple to use. It does come with croutons, so you want to make sure that you're not using those while on keto. Another thing I like to do is add in my own shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese, straight off the block. And I like to also layer the salad, so I'll add in some greens, add some cheese, a little bit of dressing, and the bacon. And I'll do another layer of that just to make sure everything is evenly distributed throughout the salad. Now this is a very light keto dinner, but I wanted to keep it really simple since I did have the keto pizza for lunch. Making sure that I'm limiting my dinner to only a meat and a vegetable really helps to keep me within my macros for the night. 
so that's going to be it you guys for my full day of eating I'm gonna go ahead and plate dinner up this um, meal came in at only 5 grams of carbs 17 grams of fat so I ended my day definitely within my macros if you guys like these type of videos please do thumbs up for more and I'll be sure to get them out to you thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video bye